As a parent, deciding when to give your child their first smartphone can be tricky. The likes of independence, peace of mind, peer pressure and pester power all being considerations. Maisie here has the monkey phone and as you can see it looks just like a normal phone that you or I might buy. The key difference however is that Maisie's phone runs a unique version of the Android operating system called Monkey. Everything that Maisie does on her phone can be tracked and monitored through an app on her dad's phone, giving parents and guardians complete visibility of where their children are, who they're interacting with and how much time they're spending on games and apps. Bedtime, tea time or school time, parents remain in complete control of when kids can and can't use the phone. This is using something called restrictions on here. So if we go into the menu, tap on scheduling, what we're going to do is to add a new schedule which is going to lock down this phone during school hours. Select the days of the week, Monday through to Friday, and then we're going to add a time interval. So between nine in the morning and four in the afternoon. We can't use SMS, we can't make phone calls, and all of the apps that are on the phone are disabled as well. Now, do note that even though SMS and calls are, are turned off, you can still contact parents, and that's really, really important. So no matter how locked down the phone is, it's always possible to get in touch with mum and dad in case of an emergency. Remember, only the parent can approve app downloads and installs on the Monkey phone. Monkey does have its own app store called the Monkey Jungle, which has got access to over 700 apps. Just tap on the store button, and there we go. Lots of very well-known, popular apps on here. However, if there is an app that you think is appropriate for your child's phone that isn't in the store, you can install it for them from the Google Play app on your phone or on a desktop. You can use the geofencing feature so you can get location alerts so you know when your child has left school and is on their way home, for example. Here's how. Again, in the settings, have a look at restrictions and then tap on geofencing. At the moment, there's no geofence set, so we're going to add a zone. So here's a zone. Tap on add zone and we get a map here. And what you can do is to drag and drop and zoom so you can set an area for the geofence. I'm going to call this one home. And then down here, very simply, you can get a notification when entering this zone or when leaving the zone. So that means I will know exactly when this phone has entered or leave anywhere that I've just defined up here. Tap on save. And there we go. There's my geofence zone. If I want to add a new contact, let's do that. Let's call, uh, let's call this person Bob. And then let's add a phone number. So that's a new contact that I've added onto the monkey phone. However, before that contact can be used, the parent phone has to approve it. So you see there's a little one just there, which is telling me that Maisie has requested Bob as a contact. I tap on approve. Now instantly, back on Maisie's phone, Bob is available as a contact to call or to text. The messaging app on the phone makes it really simple to chat with your parents or anyone else who is in your approved contact list. So if I just tap on text on the monkey phone, there we go. One or two emoji going back some backwards and forwards between the parent phone and me. Right. And there we go. And this is essentially text messaging. This is the main way that messaging takes place on the monkey phone. There are other instant messaging apps as well, as you, as you well know, but you don't necessarily have full visibility of those from the parenting app. So that's why we recommend using the messaging app that's built into the phone here. Something that you can do from the parent app is to lock your child's smartphone straight away. So let me show you how to do that. Uh, if I just tap on Maisie's phone here. Uh, as you can see, the three icons at the top. I'm just going to press this right one. What you can do is to lock it immediately or lock it just for a set period of time. I'm going to lock it immediately. 
made his phone's just here. If I just tap on lock, straight away, you see that has now locked and she can no longer use that phone. Although it's important to note that she can still send me a message, say, hey David, why have you unlocked my phone? What you can also do is again, by tapping on this now red padlock, just tap on it again and then unlock, the phone instantly becomes available for Maisie to use again. Knowing where to start your children with mobile technology can be difficult, but phones like Monkey can make it an awful lot easier.